So we're going to look at how to connect our truck to our trailer. We've got our hitch already in here with our 5 8 pin and our 2 and 5 16 inch ball. We've got our coupler in the open position locked open with this little pin in place there. And the first thing we want to do because we have an electronic jack and not a hand crank is we're going to connect the truck to the trailer so that the, to the trailer so that the jack gets power. And we're going to go ahead and retract the jack. Once the ball is firmly in the coupler, we'll go ahead and pull our pin here, lock our coupler in place. We'll put this locking pin back in place as well. And then we'll go ahead and raise the jack back up. And that's gonna allow us to insert our weight bars at a better angle and not have to crank on quite as hard. It's gonna put the truck into uh, kind of the anti-gravity position. Or the... So now we can go ahead and put in our weight bars. These particular ones just insert from the bottom. And then we have this little clip right here that we pull back on, let it go, and it locks in place. We'll go ahead and insert our next weight bar. Now we can go ahead and remove our pin there. We'll lower our little up down. And we'll get as many chain links as we can onto uh, our little hook here. Today, we're only going to be able to get one on there. We'll go ahead and pull it back up into place. We'll do the same thing on the other side here. Make sure your chain's not twisted as you're hooking it up. There we go. And it's good to have these little pins, but they're kind of optional. The tension really just holds the hook in place, but it's if you have the pins, certainly good to use them. We'll go ahead and lower our truck back down now. And while we're lowering the truck, we can go ahead and get our safety chains here. We want our safety chains to be crossed. We'll take the one from the right side of the trailer and put it on the left side of the truck. And vice versa, the one from the left side of the trailer and we'll put that onto the right side of the truck. We'll also take our breakaway switch. We want to make sure that our breakaway switch is totally free and unobstructed. It's not tangled up in anything. The idea of this breakaway switch is that if all this came loose from the truck and the trailer was disconnected from the truck and going down the road still, this would pull out. And as that pulls out, you can hear the brakes come on in the back of the trailer. And that will actually stop the trailer from uh, you know, running down the highways and wheels that are all by itself. So we'll hook this to the front part of the truck. It's totally unobstructed, that's good. And so also want to make sure it's not so short that it's going to pull up when making a tight turn. Now that we've got our jack lifted up here, we'll go ahead, pull out our pin, raise that up by hand the rest of the way, reinstall our pin, and we'll just do a quick last minute visual check. Make sure that make sure that our safety wire is connected. We have our safety chains connected. We've got our 5 8 pin that's locked in place. We've got our coupler locked and it's got a safety pin through it. Got our seven pin connector firmly attached to the truck. All our weight bars are on, everything looks nice and we'll go ahead and pick up our little pipe there to help us with the weight bars. Put that back in the truck. And we're all done, that's, that's it. Good. We'll just give it a good firm shake. And then you wanna drive maybe, uh, you know, just a couple hundred feet or so. Make sure your brakes are working and then come back here, make sure nothing's shifted, moved or come undone.